guys welcome to the awakening how are you today ah oh, i'm not sure what i'm going to share about today as you can see yes it's me and it's all about having fun it's all about waking up having fun <laughs> doing what you feel like i'm an actress i was born to be on the stage i've been on the stage since i was six years old playing the accordion performing everywhere and so to me <laughs> this is just you know normal <laughs> i've played all sorts of characters i've worn different types of wigs um i've colored my hair different colors and today i thought i'd cheer everybody up by being a redhead again but we're living in serious times, and as you know, I'm trying to help you navigate the dark into the light. And so I'm here today to make you happy, to make you laugh, to make you wake up in a positive way. So I think I want to talk today a little bit about my feelings after watching the David Icke um, 3R video yesterday. Um, I mean, I, I have been watching David Icke more and more recently, and um, I've been getting the impression that he's getting more and more positive, and uh, he's more within the light. Instead of watching someone that I felt was telling me all the bad stuff and all the negative, negative stuff, in inverted commas, um, I felt that he's starting to actually offer solutions. And as you know, I'm all about solutions. And I, I wanted to make this program on a daily basis in order to help you navigate on a daily basis what's going on. So, I was really grateful when I saw the whole video yesterday. I sat up and I watched it till about 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, someone sent it to me because it got cut off YouTube for obvious reasons. Now, what I loved more than anything was the half hour at the end. Guys, the last 30 minutes, um, if you already know what's going on, if you already know in your gut what's going on, if you already sussed it out, like I have, if you already sussed everything out and you know what's going on and you don't know, need to find out anymore because you're enlightened, because you're red pilled, you know what's going on in the world. You know what this is, you know what it isn't, you know what it's, where it's coming from. And as I talked about yesterday, my Jewish roots are actually helping me here to figure out what is actually happening and what we need to do in order to stay in the moment but also take action it's very very important so if you're anything like me <laughs> and you know what's going on it's all very well to sit here and to put on an act and to put on a wig and to make you smile and make you laugh and welcome to the awakening but if you don't know what's going on, then please do watch that video. And um, because the way that, I, that David Icke puts it across, and so there's been millions of views of it, uh, which I'm so excited about. He says from the heart, I am doing this for my children and my grandchildren so that they grow up to be real human beings with hearts, with blood. With, with, with feelings, with, with, with um, cells, real human cells, if you know what I mean. Because that's not the plan for humanity. As you know, sorry, my hair. <laughs> it was very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Now, I don't have children. I don't have family that are that much in touch with me but i have friends and i adore my friends and i adore their kids and i adore kids i adore every child and every child has a right to be loved to be free to be happy to grow up with a beating heart to go out there to live their dream to do the silly things that lauren does to wear wigs to sing to dance to act 
to come alive in every single way possible. Every single child has a right to do that. And the plan is that they can't because there is something very nefarious that doesn't love us. And I'm trying to explain that to you. It is nothing to do with healing your dark side, even though you do have to go inside and you do have to look at your issues and bring them up. This is something else. And I've always known it was something else. And yesterday it was confirmed and it's been confirmed all over the place with my channeling and meditations. There is a machine, a machine. It's not a real human and it wants us to be little chips that fit into it. That's it. Now, I had a massive wake up call when I saw that robot, Sophia, remember? The robot, Sophia, they had actually got that robot doing talks and lectures. Now, that for me was a massive wake up call because there's me with everything that I know about mental health recovery, knowing that you don't need medication, um, that I recovered 100% from BPD in the therapeutic community, got a wonderful story to tell, a massive story to tell to the human race to help them to negotiate borderline personality disorder without medication, to help them to get happy, to help them to heal their bodies and their mind and their spirits. And no one was promoting me. No, no one came to my talks, no one came to my shows because no one helped me from, I was blocked and I totally believe that now. I was doing good work, love's work, and I was blocked. It was, there was too much going on in my life. I could not progress. I could not progress because I was not one of them, where I was not buying into what they wanted me to buy into. They had one poster child, and that was Ruby Wax. And I went to Ruby Wax's concert, and concert, she can't sing. She just stands there and does funny, talks, does comedy like the rest of us can do. Uh, anyway, that's not what I'm trying to say here, is I asked her if she would share the stage with me. And every, I told everyone in the audience, in the forum, that I had recovered in the therapeutic community without medication. And everyone clapped. I got this huge amount of applause. And it's true, guys. It's true. You can read my story in Simply Amazing. And they sell it at the Positivity Center. You can get it from me. I'm also with the cards. I'm chapter eight. I recovered 100% when I awoke from feeling guilty as a little child, realizing that it wasn't my guilt, it was the stupidity and the lack of common sense of my parents. And that woke me up straight away. But I asked her and the, the crowd roared when I told them that I didn't use medication and I healed in the therapeutic community. And I said to her, will you share the stage? Can I come on? It's a forum. And she said to me, I will not work with someone who doesn't take medication. You know, that was the first thing. And then she said, go sing on the bus. I'm not joking. I recorded the whole thing. I actually did a face live, Facebook Live while I was there. I'll try and find it and I'll put it on for you. Actually, I might put it on here so you can hear it. Go sing on a bus. That's what she said to me. Now, that was the attitude of people that were given everything to go out there and to push drugs for mental illness, okay? I don't push anything. I push spirits and love and nutrition and creativity, living your dream every single day. <laughs> and I love making programs. And I love looking good. I love having fun. I love being a girl. It's like that song, I enjoy being a girl, you know? And I love it. I love feeling vibrant. I love being a human being. And no one will take that away from me. No one, this is my freedom. My freedom is to be a human being. No one will put something in me that is not connected to my cells, that is not real human beauty nature. 
Okay, so I'm going back to David's Ike's talk. The plan is to do exactly that. The plan is exactly that. To put something in you that stops you resonating as a human, to stop you from opening the, 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 the heart chakra, from stop you, to stop you from being able to stand up and say, I am here, I am free, I do not consent, and I ain't having it. You need to understand this. This is very serious. And hopefully they won't take this video off because I'm not big enough yet. Okay? So hopefully I'm growing and you're listening because I'm trying to put through to you everything that I learned to make you happy, make you understand. Okay? So watch the um, David Icke thing. And then when he goes into the half hour, the last half hour, he looked at me, even though, you know, he didn't directly look at me. I felt the love and his heart saying to me, you do, Lauren, what you feel is right. And I'm saying to you, looking you in the eye, you do what you feel is right. Don't give a shit about your age. Guys, through the lockdown, I've lost a tooth. It's quite big, and, and you probably know that. Now, my ego says to me, Lauren, you can't do this. You can't do talks. It's embarrassing. You know what? No. I will go on here, and I will do my best to look as best as I can. In spite of it, I do what my heart calls me to do because that is right. So there's no questions. You don't even have to think about what do I need to do when you come from here? Not from here, from here. When you come from here, you know what you need to do, guys. And you need to sit with this heart, open the crown chakra wide, Understand you are a human with love and compassion and joy and excitement from the heart, not from here. What do you want to do from here? And this is for every friend I have that is going through suffering. This is for family. This is for every human who is scared and doesn't know what they want to do or isn't, hasn't got the courage to do it. Go out there and do it. What is right for you and the human race, okay? First of all, you, but it's got to be part of you being a human. You've got to find that connection to being a human. What are you going to do for your fellow man? Now, it's a very serious time that we're living in. And yes, there are correlations to Nazi Germany. And not only Jewish people are feeling this, a lot of people are feeling this. Okay. So what are you going to do to, to end it now? I do not consent. Get off your TV sets. Get out into nature because nature will heal you. If you stay in your houses, oh my God, do you know that I know that if I, I pray to God that some of you are watching this and you're too scared to leave your house now because of all the fear propaganda, can I tell you this? I leave my house every day. I go to the park. I sit in the car. I go to the park. There are people in the park, children in the water. I get in the car, I go for a drive. There, you cannot catch anything out there, guys, in nature. Nature is beautiful. Nature, nature is healing. Nature gives you everything that you need. You cannot catch anything that's going to hurt you when you're in nature. Nature only heals us and loves us. Those trees, is, it's oxygen, okay? 
if there's anyone on here, and my heart goes out to you, that is too scared to leave their home. Because another thing David Icke said is that people have bought into this fear propaganda so much, they will not leave their home. Let me give you some facts, okay? Some countries didn't have lockdown. Japan, Belarus, Sweden, they had no more cases of this thing that is just a flu bug. They had no more cases, guys. It's a flu bug that can be healed naturally. If you don't know how, contact me. I know people, I know how to do it. It's very easy. There are people that never got locked down. The countries were not locked down and there were no more cases of this than there were anywhere else, okay? I have opened my heart now. I don't give a flying fig what anybody thinks. Sometimes I get an email from some idiot telling me that I'm a mad bitch. Well, is David Icke a mad bitch? Of course not. He's a brave man. And I am feeling brave mentoring myself uh, on him. He's my mentor. So is Ralph Smart. Wonderful people that have the guts to tell you the truth. Please, there's nothing to be scared of. If you want me to come to your house and help you, hold you by the hand and lead you outside to nature, I will do it. Do your, do your work, guys. Check the statistics. Look at all the big companies. They're open. Hundreds of people, thousands of people work in these big companies. They're open. I have a friend in Texas. They are going on as natural. I have a friend in Canada. All her children's friends come to visit. They have barbecues. No one is getting sick. No one is getting sick. Please try to understand this from the heart. I wouldn't lie to you. And if you don't believe me, watch David Icke, watch Dr. Kaufman, those amazing people out there telling you the truth. There's nothing to be scared of now. If, if one person has the courage to leave their home when the lockdown ends because I'm doing this today. And thank you. Thank you, God, for giving me the madness, the creativity, the courage to look like a 30 year old, the courage to come on here without a tooth. And some people would laugh at me. The courage to tell you I do not consent with every bone and piece, little bit of blood in my body. I do not consent. There's a letter, guys. There's a letter going around. You can sign that letter. Give it to your friends, your relations. It's common sense. Why won't you even read it? Do you want to be a robot? Do you want to be someone who will be just like this? That's why she sent those two knives. I just put the microwave food in the oven. Hello, everyone. My name is Lauren Hope. I am here to deliver a message. That could be the future. Look at my eyes. What do you see? You see love. You see life. You see excitement. The eyes. The eyes are the mirror of the soul. Look, 
Don't look at the dark circles. Don't look at if there's wrinkles. Don't look at the fact that, look at the life. That's why I don't wear my glasses when I talk to you. The eyes are the mirror of the soul. Then, look at Bill Gates' eyes. Nothing. No life. A machine. Look at David Icke's eyes. Love. Compassion. Look at your child's eyes. Love. Compassion. Real, real, real people. We are real. When you hurt us, we bleed. When we fall, it hurts. When we feel sad, we cry. I sat up crying for hours, thinking, what the hell? Are we going to do? And then the answers came to me after watching David Icke and watching amazing people, revolution, all the people I'm going to interview on here. We unite. We unite and no one, no one, no one, no one, no one can conquer us when we are united. See, the ego is looking at the fact that I've got a bit of lipstick here on my lip. Not looking in the eyes. I don't want you to lose your capacity to be human. Please, if you watch this and you are scared to leave your home, I bless you from my heart. Call me. Contact me at lauren at movingontv.uk. Call me. 07437532798. I will come. I will hold your hand. And I will directly take you into the garden. Because I love you. Because I'm not a robot. I'm real. Because if you don't start believing how powerful you are, every one of you, turn off the media. Stop buying into the fear and just please con contact me, contact someone who really loves you. When I was working in the homes, I was appalled by the people, the families, how much they were scaring their grandparents and their, their parents on Skype. And I will do a program about this as a whistleblower, get someone to interview me. I was appalled by what I heard. They were telling them this was going to go on forever. They were telling them the rubbish that was coming from the media. And these poor old people, how could they function after that? They take away their morale. They take away their families, just like the Nazis did to the Jews. These people are too scared now to see their own grandchildren. They're too scared to see their own children. Nothing would stop me from seeing my child. I would die for my child. There's loads of good parents out there. None of them will put up with this. And I am there for you, all of you. Just read the letter that's going around, sign it. Even if you don't believe in one or two of the things, you've got to understand that humanity has to unite because if you don't unite, how can we win? That's what they do. They divide you. 
With the Jews, they took away the strong, they took away the beautiful. They took the young women and they raped them. Anyone who was pretty enough got raped. That's what they did in the camps. They experimented on the children the same way as they do now. The old, the vulnerable, they killed them straight away. They told the families, <laughs> they told, this is the dark. They told, but this is the dark, you need to know. They told the families they were protecting their loved ones. If the media comes on today and tells these people that are stuck in their houses, that in order to protect them, <clears throat> they need to go into a special house called Schauswitz, let's say, you will be so loved and so protected, especially the old ones, especially the vulnerable ones. But we need your young people. We need your strong men. We need your babies. Hopefully, because I look pretty today, you'll still be watching this. You won't turn it off. I know this is real because my ancestors perished in a concentration camp. It's very real. The darkness. We are living in Kristallnacht. <clears throat> There's an app that can tell you where someone has got this flu bug, an app, which is just like the little yellow star they put on a Jew. Do you understand that? If someone has this flu bug, I will go to them, I will hug them. It doesn't bother me because I don't believe in it. I never have done. And as I say, watch David Icke. Millions of people know the truth. And if someone comes knocking on my door and says, Lauren, you're finished because you are going out there and you're saying, what you're saying, then I hope you think my life was worth it in some way to you. And if I can help one human being today, then that's the light. Because by learning, by learning from our mistakes from history, by learning from the past, same as I recovered in the therapeutic community, by learning from the past, by learning from the past, you move on to the light. I fell a few days ago. I fell. And it doesn't feel 100%. So I have to rest. I can't do my dancing and jump around like I want to. I didn't learn. Three times now. Every single time was the same. I got up. This is the dark again, that Lauren is living in the dark because she didn't learn. I got up and I rushed out into the courtyard to get the sun instead of balancing myself first, calming down. Every time I had an accident, it was because I'd had a row with someone, usually my husband, and I'd run, jumped in the car and I'd had an accident. Now I've learned, I've learned my lesson. I'm sitting, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about my balance. When I get up in the morning, I'm thinking about balancing my body so that I don't fall again. There's only so many times you can fall with this leg and not end up, you know? I love my body. I healed my leg. There's no way I'm going backwards. No way. So coming into the light is Lauren. When you get up in the morning, you balance. You balance. We breathe. And we choose how to stay sane in a crazy world. I hope this is touching a lot of people. If you know anyone 
who's scared to leave their home. I will personally come and sing to them their favorite song and I will help them. And I don't give, as I say, I don't care. Just please tell them to contact me. I will be knocking on my neighbor's doors in the next few days, asking them how they are, saying to them, ask, finding out if they're scared. I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna to say to them, there's nothing to fear. You cannot get sick from nature, from your garden. There's nothing to fear. Please, I'm here. Okay. We got laughter today. We got the laughter card. <laughs> so there you go. We got the laughter. And if I'm making you laugh, that's wonderful. Ha ha ha, ho ho ho. Today is a day for fun and for humor. It is, so, it is said that laughter is the best medicine. Watch some funny films, jump around like a child. Sometimes when I smile, when I'm feeling low, I feel a bit better. Try it, try to laugh. It will help you breathe better today. So read funny stories, tell funny jokes. Sorry guys, you chose this card as you have no choice but to have to laugh, laugh today. But if you really can't do this, choose another card, okay? Laughter is the best medicine. Have a go. Ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so to all you, my friends out there, I love you. I hope this has helped in some way. Please share, subscribe, come on board Moving On TV. I hope to see some incredible people coming on.